ETH one hour chart, just wanna give a quick update. And uh, right now we're looking at this correction. If you mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy, we will take it and we need to see the breakout of this correction. And then after that, we need to see the breakout of the this one, which is 47440, 4740 following by 4870. How to look for trade? Right now I'm looking at this. We can consider this one as a flag. Either we put our entry above here, above desktop, but what we want is a price sharply tag break and continue if the price tag. This is not moving within the two hours maximum. We take out the trade because as I mentioned, we have to see the breakout of this correction. There is a possibility the price can give us one move up and drop, right? That's why as long as the price haven't break this correction, any trade is really short-term trade because if we look at the chart, we are almost near to the all time high. We don't want to buy at the top. Then we see the rejection similar to what we had here. Whoever get the trade from here right now, they should take out the trade in the break even, all right? And anyway, we start with higher time frame. We start with the daily chart. And if we move to daily chart, as we can see the price almost near to all time high. And even based on the daily chart, we're looking at this one. Any trade for buy, we can take it. And with the breakout of the all time high, the targets we're looking for is 5.5K following by 7K. But as long as the price haven't break the all-time high, any trade within this one, we need to be really careful, all right? Uh, and we have nothing else to discuss. It doesn't mean we cannot look for buy, but we prefer to see the breakout of the all-time high before we take the next trade. That's why as long as the price haven't break the all-time high, if you want to look for buy, we need to be really careful. That's why if we get any opportunity for buy, the breakout of this zone, which is a 4740 following by 4870 is really important for us. And again, how about if this one turned to a deeper correction for the next drop? That's why if he wants to look for buy within this correction, as what I explained based on one hour chart, we need to be really careful. And if we move to one hour chart, all right, right now we can look at this one. Any trade for buy from here, we have to see the breakout of this correction as a sharp move and a flowing by this levels, all right? Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.